So since most of my focus was on Ragna this week, I thought I'd do a small character a day and thought I might as well go with Colonel Volgan from Metal Gear Solid 3. So with that said, let's get started. In terms of physical strength, Colonel Volgan is an extremely well-built massive man, and as such he is fairly strong for a human, being able to break people's bones with ease and lift the Davy Crockett and its launcher with ease along with firing them easily as well. Uh, to give you an idea, a Davy Crockett weighs 600 pounds and uh, he was able to pick up both the case and I believe there were two shots for it, it might, have been, it might have just been one, but either way he lifted 660 more or less pounds with one arm with ease. In terms of speed, Vulcan seems to be a much slower character than both Naked Snake and the boss, but he was fast enough to react to Eva, and due to his physical form and the fact that he's a colonel, we can safely assume that he is faster than the average individual. In terms of durability, Vulcan is actually pretty durable, being able to withstand attacks from both Snake and the boss, although he does get knocked down and you know struggles to get up for a few minutes later. He was able to take an RPG shot, and he can withstand a lightning strike, although this lightning strike combined with being set aflame, and the bullets in his bandolier, you know, fired off due to the lightning strike, so it sent him into a coma. Lightning plus fire plus bullets sent him to a coma, basically. Uh, yeah, alright. In terms of uh, powers and abilities, Vulcan does seem to be skilled with firearms, and since he is a colonel rank, we can assume he has some degree of hand-to-hand -hand combat training. However, that's not really where Vulcan shines. Where he shines are his lightning powers, so let's get into that one. Um, Vulcan is capable of generating 10 million volts of lightning at will, and can use this to enhance his own physical strength as shown when it allowed him to punch a hole through the Shagohard's armor, something even an RPG couldn't do. He could control the electricity to only work on the metal he wanted to, um, like say if he was in a metal area, if he just wanted to affect the floor, it would only affect the floor. And he can launch full on lightning blasts, however they do get attracted by metal. Um, he could also create a lightning shield to protect himself from bullets, and he could also channel his power into things as shown with the Shagohod, and he could also absorb a lightning as shown in his boss battle. He could ignite all the bullets in the gun clip also by uh, using his lightning. Like, um, during the boss fight, if I remember correctly, if you're playing as Snake, he will sometimes ignite all the bullets in your clip, so you can't shoot him. But his powers do have some weaknesses, like uh, water, Russian glow cat mushrooms, and chaff-based weapons. Vulcan's lightning also still applies uh, to the law of physics, as shown in his boss battle when if you throw metal items, the lightning blast will be directed towards them, and when Ocelot shoots the lightning out of the air using bullets. In terms of weapons, Vulcan carries a Makarov pistol and a bandolier of 7.62 times 54R cartridges, which he can ignite with his lightning powers to enhance his physical attacks like brass knuckles. He can do he can launch the bullets in barrage attacks, single shot attacks, and machine gun level attacks. And yeah, he mainly uses them to uh, in increase his physical punches, as shown when he punches through a wall with ease with uh, the bullets, like he leaves a big old hole in the wall. And he also uses it to break through the Shagohod the first time uh, with one of his arms. And uh, yeah, well, I already covered the Man on Fire, which is um, Colonel Vulcan's next form in Metal Gear Solid 5, in the Skull Face video. So if you want to see that aspect of him, go to that video. It's not, it's not a very long aspect. And uh, thank you for your time. Have a good night. Uh, next week, I'll cover one of the snakes. Uh, no, actually, no, next week, I'll cover the boss. I think I'll do the boss next week.